new Latin Rhythm Club competition. So this morning we're out kicking it with Kyle and Chip Coral. We've got more on this competition. Hi, Kyle. Are you still uh, moving it back and forth a little bit? Hey, 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 well, we're, we're jumping back and forth through the music, so I'm getting confused as to where we are. We're, we have a, uh, another dance. This is one of the group performances, of, as I told you earlier. I'm going to get out of the way so you can kind of watch them. Annette Seibert, uh, who is, the uh, again, the founder of the Latin Club, uh, here in Fort Myers is, is with us today to tell us a little bit more uh, about what the dance that they're doing. Uh, what This is called the what? This is the bachata, and this is their actual choreography for tonight. We're not going to give you too much. We want you to come here and watch it because it's going to be spectacular. Exactly. Now, the program is uh, is a competition. We've got three of the eight different clubs, and you said that they had they had to actually qualify and, and, and to make it and, and able to perform. Oh, yeah, most definitely. They had to have community service requirements. They had to have attended um, workshops and seminars that we, we did. And basically, this is really a way to, you got to earn it to be here tonight. And three schools, Case, uh, Arrow, and Oasis High School are competing tonight. Now, the, uh, each show is going to be, you said, about 10 minutes long, and they have a, a varying things. They're going to do group numbers, and they'll do separate numbers as well? Oh, yeah. It's actually a 10-minute production from light, sound, transitions to outfits. I mean, it's the work. So it's a little bit more than just the dancing. Well, if dancing is important, we try to teach them life skills that they might not learn in school, like um, nonverbal communication. <laughs> well, we're getting a little bit of that as well. And now we've got another dance that uh, is going to happen now. This is the what? This is a tango, and this is an Argentine dance. And the cool thing is that we have different types of dances in this 10 minutes from um, Mexican dancing cumbia to tango to salsa, merengue, bachata. So it's, it's going to be uh, very interesting to see how this all plays through. We've got a, a couple of the kids that we wanted to be able to talk to as well uh, coming over here. And uh, first, we want to show you the trophies. This is what they're competing for. And as we mentioned, it's all happening out here at Cape Coral tonight. Uh, Yelin Castro is uh, one of the dancers. You just saw her uh, doing the Bachata a second ago. And uh, tell me, uh, first, they're doing the tango. Is what you did more challenging or what they're doing? Um, what they're doing is more challenging. It's more flexibility you need to have. Well, let's uh, go back over there so we can kind of see them. Uh, and, and he just got done dancing, so he's got to be a little worn out. Yeah, yeah, we get pretty I'm pretty tired myself. Jonathan Walmart, another one of the guys uh, participating in this, and you were telling me that uh, what what is it that is, is good about being involved in this Latin Rhythm Club for you? To me, what's good about being involved is that it keeps me busy. It's something to do after school. It's a good stress reliever, and it keeps a lot of kids out of trouble. And that's um, that's actually one of the major things that I like about this, that it keeps a lot of kids out of trouble, and it keeps us busy. And and yeah. get, get you out here early this morning. Yeah, it got me out here this morning pretty early. We want to thank all of these uh, folks, and if any of the kids want to come up here. Uh, again, it's going on at Cape Coral High School tonight from 6 o'clock until 8 o'clock. Tickets, $7 at the door when you come out here. And, again, they'll have uh, three of the schools competing competing uh, for the trophies. And uh, Cape Coral High School has won this before? Yeah, they're actually the, the uh, champions from last year. So they got to work really hard to keep the title. There you go. So that all happening out here. And uh, we actually have a, a studio audience as well. They've been watching them perform this morning. Uh, guys, our opportunity to come up and uh, dance. I tried it. Maybe you can come out and try it tonight. Well, you asked that young man why he joined the Latin Dance Club, and I think I know because yeah, it looks like there's more girls than yeah, boys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There are. Yeah. Yeah. The guys yeah. have, a, have an excellent opportunity here. Most uh, most of them probably would have uh, their choice of dance partners. Yeah. <laughs> now we know what they're doing. Kyle, very fun uh, for all of them. Thank